Welcome to Smart Up Travel on another adventure again. Woyoyoy, yo, yo. and today we're in Brixton. Brixton is a cosmopolitan area, but is known for having a high percentage of people from the Caribbean community, Jamaica, Africa, and different places. Today we'll be just checking out some of the markets and some of the places uh, that are in Brixton market and different parts of the area. So let's go on this journey. So right now, we're actually on Electric Avenue, one of the first places in England to actually get electricity. Now today, it's a striving place with different vendors, stalls, selling a variety of products from different parts of the world. You'll find West Indian food, you'll find vegetables, clothing, and various other items. So let's explore. British Guyanese singer, Eddie Grant, sang about this in his hit song, Electric Avenue, in 1983. And it went something like this. We gonna rock on to Electric Avenue, and then we'll take it higher. I'm sure some of you will remember this song. Let's explore Electric Avenue. So you can see right now, this is very popular, especially on Saturdays, Fridays. People come out here to buy different things like food produce and things like that. Like you can see right here, vegetables are here. You can also see there's a butchers, different things. So it's the epicenter of, you know, the West Indian culture and other people from parts of the world come here to shop. Now one of the things these markets is also known for is having a great variety of, you know, West Indian food. And you can also find different things like herbs, you know, herbal products. Like you can see right where we're coming up to on the right, you can get a lot of local herbs right here in Brixton. Yeah, man. Now we're on to Brixton Station Road Market. It is a community market run by local traders or sellers. Many different items from across the world can be found here. Things like herbal medicine, Senegalese foods, and different works of artistry, and many other items can be found here. So this is Station Road. We're walking through Station Road Market. Senegalese food.
So you can see different things are found here, Ghanaian food, Senegalese food can all be found in this market here on Station Road in Brixton. Now we're back onto Brixton High Street. And if you follow this road that I'm walking, it would lead you straight back to Brixton train station. And you can get the Victoria Line to go to various destinations in London. The train station is only about a two to three minute walk from Station Road Market in Brixton. Now we are at Reliance Arcade in Brixton. It is very popular with locals and various visitors to the area. Running between Brixton Road and Electric Lane, Reliance Arcade was built into an existing Georgian house between 1923 and 1925, adopting the Art Deco style, which was the fashion of the day. Thank you. Brixton has certainly undergone significant changes over the years and many people from all walks of life frequently visit the area. It can be argued, for the most part, Brixton today is a multicultural area. And as you can see as we walk down Brixton High Street here, you will observe that you will find many of your name brand High Street shops. There are also street performers who you will find playing a guitar on the streets. And many people come to Brixton to visit its exotic bars and nightclubs. In recent times, British filmmaker Steve McQueen recently released a three-part series called Uprising on the BBC. In one of the episodes, he featured the 1981 Brixton riots, which erupted in the community of Brixton in 1981 between the residents of the area and the police. The wounds run deep in the community, and with the future generations overcome some of the challenges their predecessors had to face, time would surely tell. But today, Brixton, arguably, is a multicultural area, and people visiting seem to not be aware of the history that happened there. Now we are walking further down Brixton High Street. Brixton is known for also having a significant Muslim population. Many people from the Somali community and also Africa and Afro-Caribbeans who have embraced Islam live in Brixton or in the surrounding areas. And we'll be walking towards Brixton Mosque. It's indeed an epicenter for many people 
who embrace the religion of Islam and it has a rich history in the community of Brixton many different sheikhs and imams pass through this mosque so it is also known as the house mosque because it's a masjid that is shaped and designed like a house enjoy And finally, we end the walk here at Stockwell Skate Park, also known as Brixton Bowls. It is one of the oldest skate parks in London, or a matter of fact, anywhere else. Stockwell, aka Brixton Beach or Brixton Bowls, was built in 1978. It is overseen by the Friends of Stockwell Skate Park and was constructed by Leon Edwards, who built the UK's first...